So I'm going to talk a little bit about stuttering here. There's four elements that affect stutters that they say over and over again that are pretty evident and pretty much out there. By the way, in America, there's three million people that stutter. In this room, that's one out of 100. In this room, there's at least, besides me, take me off the board, there's at least two or three other people here that probably have a stutter or some sort of speech impediment. Something that affects you when you engage with people and live a life and have a career. One area is genetics. There's something that is wired within us, and some people would say it's a disability, a defect. It's not. It's just who you are. It's something that is there. One thing about stuttering is doctors today do not fully understand it, and there is no cure. I may make it all the way through this presentation and not really stutter, but I will because I've learned how to get around it. <laughs> but there's no cure for stuttering. Childhood development plays a lot of thought into it. There's something about your early development triggers things in your brain, your body, your mind. I was born with something called CMV. In 1965, CMV was a child killer. I was one of the first people in America they diagnosed with CMV. They literally gave me to my parents in the hospital and said, he will die this week. My child development was not a normal straight line. They say it's probably part of the reason that the stutter is there. I'm off deaf in my left ear. I have bad eyesight. So if I talk to you afterwards, please come up and talk to me. My eyes will do funky things, and you're going to think I'm looking at the wall, I'm looking at another person. I'm looking at you. You just don't know it. <laughs> I'm okay with it. You aren't. <laughs> and especially my stutter and look at you wear is really bad after that. It all goes downhill really bad. There's a neural side of this. So there, there is something within us that is chemically and neurally that, that is going on again. It's an offshoot of childhood development side. It's a medical side. There's something that doesn't fire right. So here's my problem. that I've learned it over many years. My brain and my mouth don't run at the same speed. Anyone relate to that? He said, thank you. My brain has a lot of great stuff. And my mouth and I are like, and it don't, it don't work. It just doesn't work. There's something that doesn't fire, and some people can do it so seamlessly and effortlessly. And some of us, we just can't get this and this to sync up and run at the same track level. That takes practice. There's something there that triggers this and does it. Finally, family dynamics. And they said there's something about the pace of life, the speed of life, affects us as stutterers. So if you're in a family of high octane, High expectations. Everyone in the family is a rock star, but you, or you feel that way. There's something about a family dynamics that makes you inside go, and you just can't speak, can't produce. Now, here's the interesting thing. I'm a four, four, four. I've added a thousand on that list, guys. Every one of those is my life story. Childhood development, because of my CMV, because of everything else, uh, we tried eye surgery. It failed. My eyes did not work. I was age five when they found out that I was deaf in my left ear. My mom tried to tell me a secret in my left ear, and I did this. And she tried to tell me a secret again, and I did the same thing. And the third time she stops me and said, can you hear? And I go, no. I didn't know any better. I thought this was fine. These are just for sunglasses. That's all this thing is for. <laughs> The neural side, definitely as I told you, there's something the head and mouth doesn't work well. Family dynamics, my mother stutters. There's not a brother, there's not a cousin, there's not an aunt, there's nobody in our family tree. And here's the funny thing. My friends and family now know if my mom and I talk or Facebook or do anything, my stutter gets worse because I talk to my mom. So blame it on her. <laughs> but family dynamics, in my family living in Elkhart, Indiana, was high energy, high dynamic. My grandfather was Kwame, by the way, so there, I'll put that plug in there. Yeah. He was a senator in the state of Indiana. My father was a judge and a lawyer who ran for Senate. My uncle was a city council member. My brothers and my cousins are all brainiacs. And then there's me. <laughs> that high expectations definitely affected me growing up. It really did. 
So how does a guy with a stutter make a career of 25 years as a sports broadcaster, motivational speaker, and I've been a pastor? I make my living with a microphone. People pay me to do this. And I laugh. 